Hey guys, I wanted to show you a uh, couple things I got, if I can get my phone to balance here. Um, one is this Columbian Field Survival Tool. I don't know who invented it. Um, I don't even remember the brand name on it. It's like, it wasn't very expensive or anything. Anyways, uh, these normally come with a black handle and in a black case. I don't like plastics and nylons. I like metal, leather, wood, uh, and canvas, that type of stuff. So anyways, uh, I made this sheath for it. It's got a belt loop. Terrible light quality in here, sorry about that. But anyways, it's got a belt loop to hang like on your, either on your belt or on your backpack or whatever, or on a saddle. Um, leather. I put a leather handle on it too. I put some leather scales and uh, to replace the plastic ones that came with it, and then I wrapped this with leather, similar to like an old-fashioned sword handle. So that's that. Anyways, I attached this with snaps. What this is is uh, it's got a saw edge here, a chopping edge here, like an axe or kukri-style chopping edge. This is all sharp, but it's meant to be used as a shovel. So, um, I haven't actually used it much yet, just because I didn't really like the way it looks, and uh, I like to have stuff looking pretty cool so I can get in the zone and feel like a badass. But anyways, uh, I put I did this leather wrap on here, and. Uh, Or he's saying something from the other room. I can't hear what he's saying. Anyways, chop, dig, cut, or saw. So I'm looking forward to using this. I've got it all pimped out now. So it is ready for duty. And then the other thing I was going to show you is this deal that I made. It's a leather carry case for... Uh, for a solar battery powered or solar powered battery pack so what this pack is is it well, I'll just show you it has a solar panel on the front it's got a solar panel on the front and then it's pretty heavy it's got some batteries inside here that store the power so you leave it charging during the day just from the Sun and then by nighttime, you've got enough battery power to you plug in a USB cable into here and plug in your phone, or you can charge up a, a headlamp, which I'm going to do both of those tasks with this. And also, it has a flashlight built in, which is pretty cool. And, and it also charges itself via like you can plug it in with a USB cable into the wall or into a computer or something and you can charge it up that way so <clears throat> I got this for when I go on my winter mountain climb because we're gonna be uh, camping probably pretty far away from the vehicle so we won't be able to charge phones and I want to make sure that I have plenty of battery power so that I can uh, one check my altitude along the way just for kind of for entertainment purposes but more importantly I want to be able to take videos to share the uh, adventure with you guys so I got this and I think I'm gonna get another one as well just as backup so that I have plenty of extra battery power to take all those videos and in the cold weather uh, batteries don't put out very much power when they get cold so I wanted to have uh, plenty of extra capabilities there, so I'm going to have two of these. But anyways, what I made today is this thing. It's a leather carry case <clears throat> that this slides into, and it's got it exposes the solar panels so that it can charge up while it's in this case. 
It's got snaps up on the top here. This flap comes over the top. And, uh, and I left a little strip of leather here so that it wouldn't like come open this way because uh, this is pretty soft leather. So I just put that in there for support. But anyways, solar panels exposed. And then this, I, I took two squares of leather and I just stitched a little spot on each corner so that I can run a rope <clears throat> through this like this on each one or like this on each one. And, uh, and that way I can mount it any way that I need to to secure it onto my backpack. And what my intent is with this is I want to secure it onto my backpack that I'm hiking with. Uh, not just for the mountain climb, but anytime I'm doing stuff camping related outdoors and stuff so that this can be charging while I'm moving around during the day. So that's the idea behind this and hopefully it works well. I'm gonna have to make another one for the other battery pack that I'm getting and uh, and I also may try to rig it up on the shoulder strap of the backpack. This is actually one of my rucksacks that I'll probably be spending a lot of time uh, packing around. This is a rucksack I made also. But anyways, I may rig up a deal so that this sits right about here to charge up or some somewhere around here. Or I may just mount it up, like tie it on there, up on the top of this deal. While I'm at it, I'll show you this backpack. Get strapped in here. This, uh, You guys probably aren't, most of you probably aren't familiar with a, a Manti, but a Manti is a, a canvas cloth that's basically a canvas tarp that you lay on the ground for packing a load on the back of a donkey or a mule or a horse. Uh, a Manti is when you take this tarp, uh, canvas tarp, usually canvas, you lay it on the ground, you put a bunch of gear in there and then you fold it all up in the mani and you tie it with ropes into a, a shape like a square sort of like a package and then you take this and it's usually pretty large sometimes it can weigh depending on what you got in there it can maybe weigh 150 200 pounds or or maybe even a little bit more but anyways you take this big deal and you put it up on the top of your pack saddle dead center and then you've also got other deals on your equine that are on the left and right side um, called panniers. And, uh, but the mani is a cloth that shapes to any load. So you can pack anything in there. Doesn't matter, you can pack hay bale, whatever, you name it. So what I designed was a manti with shoulder straps for humans to pack so that I can pack any load. So this uh, rucksack works in the summertime or the wintertime it's got ropes built into it that fasten around. So all I do is I lay my shoulder straps. This whole part lays down on the ground and then I unfold my deal, put my whatever load in there that I need to uh, pack around. And then I fold the canvas around it and then I tie the ropes around it. There's two ropes that go this way, two ropes that go this way and they make kind of a tic-tac-toe pattern and they hold in the load pretty well. And right now I've got a sleeping system in it that I'm gonna start using tomorrow actually uh, for my 365 day outdoor sleeping challenge. 365 consecutive days. But anyways, uh, so this Manny pack straps in any load. So I can use it in the summertime, wintertime, whatever. And also I waterproofed it a little bit in the old days, they would have used wax. I just used some Scotch Guard because I didn't have any wax and I didn't know how to use wax, anyways. So, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's got some leather pouches built into it as well. And then I rigged up these with airplane style seatbelt buckles. So, you just lift this deal and it comes unhooked. 
they fasten quick and then boom you can get out of it quick if you need to for whatever reason I like to keep my stuff somewhat tactical like that I guess <clears throat> be prepared for everything the the only thing that I don't like about this backpack is I attached the shoulder straps too far apart from each other I should have attached them I should have moved them both closer to the center and I may still do that there's a way I can do that I can sew another piece on here and then take these and sew them to that piece and kind of get away with a, a little bit of a modification there without having to take the whole pack apart this leather is part of the backpack and it goes around it's got a big pouch like this on either side for whatever junk I need like quick access to and then and then I've got just hemp rope built into the deal that I just tie around everything and you can't really see it very well but there's two ropes going over the top they go all the they go the full length and then two going sideways like that tic-tac-toe pattern I was talking about and it's really a pretty cool setup I other than the shoulder strap issue it's still functional and I mainly designed it for winter use which is why what was my thinking was when I put those shoulder straps so far apart I wanted it to be comfortable and so I in the winter time so I spread them out really far <clears throat> What I should have done was scooted them in a little bit closer to each other. But anyways, it, it works really well, and I think it'll work pretty well. I haven't tested it in the wintertime yet because I just built it this summer. But I'm looking forward to trying it out, and uh, I haven't packed anything super heavy in it yet either, any long distance anyways. So that will be something to test out as well. Anyways, I just wanted to show those things to you guys and uh, share that with you. Um, yeah, so that's about it for today. Ow. And uh, hopefully, well, I'll be making a video tomorrow for sure when I hop in the sleeping system. So that'll be fun. And uh, I'm going to make another video on my workout deal, but I'll get to that in a second. I'll do it as a separate video. Anyways, have fun guys.